how's it going? Uh, back to stones today, out of the gym. Uh, normally there's not a lot of traffic on this road, but uh, I think this place is starting to grow a little bit, so more traffic. Uh, so anyway, back to stones today. Kind of wanted to break down a little bit of how I do this. I pick out the implements I want to work out with figure out what day it is you know what am I doing today usually it's back just like Cody usually it's back but uh at home I like to do heavy carries overhead presses rows whatever but today I'm doing carries I've got to prep for a uh, big stone carry but also a uh, a uh, cone in the wheel so I'm gonna do that uh, here today i'm gonna do some in the gym too but here today i'm gonna use uh i'm gonna do heavy stone carries and some rows and some other stuff just to strengthen the back legs everything it's gonna be like a full body endeavor today is what it's gonna be but um uh, i'll start by moving this stone it's gonna be kind of my warm-up i did some band work i'll be honest just a little stretching and then uh i'll move move some stones around get my you know, unrack my weights, and uh, that'll be my warm up. You never know what critters you might find. moving this stuff and this comes with this comes with a lot of practice but you gotta be sure of your movement any way you pick up a barbell you know you know the, the steps you take to not pull your back or pull a lat muscle or whatever same thing with the stones That'll be a good row set up. As some of you guys know, this is my carry stone, my new one. I like it. This is a this is an older one here. And it's heavy too, and it cuts your arms up. <laughs> but today this carry stone is gonna work as a pedestal. I could work, uh, and I will later on from pulling this from the ground, but while I'm training carries today. I'm going to go ahead and prop it up a little bit, you know, get it a little bit off the ground to make the carries easier. Just in training. You know, once we get closer to the big carries, I'll uh, do something different. But the uh, Conan's wheel I got is like 500 pounds, 500 and something, 505, I think. So this stone's no, obviously nowhere near 500 pounds. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, use the axle and the gym and uh work on you know the, the carries are good for a lot of things you know overall strength and i've got a big stone carry next april uh 250 pound for distance the ball hollow stone at world strength games uh anyway i just i love this damn stone it's such a good tool you know you guys know that if you watch this channel this stuff works Yep. Getting warm for these is obviously essential. You don't want to tear a bicep or something stupid. And work your way up. You know. I've not been doing this for years and years and years, but I've been doing it for a couple of years. Almost three, I think. <clears throat> or three. Could be three already. Anyway. Uh, just be careful. Make sure you warm up just like you do in the gym. <clears throat> Don't get hurt.
there you can see I might want to wear a shirt sometimes I like to practice different pickups on that stone I didn't like that one uh, it uh, introduced new parts of the stone to my arms if you understand what I'm saying like it's probably not picking up but I got a good laceration right there um, it happens anybody lift stones know uh, it happens it doesn't hurt just you know anyway I didn't like that pickup so I'll be practicing other stuff um, I don't have a lot of time so I might I might even there's a round stone over here on the wall I might pick up and do some work with and uh, maybe maybe get one one or two more carries in with this and then see if I can get a better hold of it and uh, you know stick with it longer now that I'm a little a little warmer all right. I'd like to get a official weight on that thing. What do you guys think? You guys had to guess. What do you reckon it weighs? I'd say three maybe. It's got some, it's, uh, it's so wide and sharp. It has you, uh, which you should never do has me a uh, second guess in my lift in the middle of my, in the middle of my damn lift like should I be doing this there's no one around I don't have a belt um, I do it a lot and like I said you have to work up to these sorts of things but you know you should always have a training partner I don't have that I don't have a training partner so but I think I think we'll call it on that lift for today for that stone and we'll move on to the next exercise um, that's gonna get easier and easier I'm also at the end of a like a four day you know excuse me five day uh, strong uh, workout you know frequency um, been running cardio every day so probably this weekend probably or uh, yeah I might, I might take a couple days off get rest and regroup I think my arms are gonna need they're fine I mean, like they always look so bad and then the next day they're, they're hard as nails and you can move on don't get scared a little blood but also if you want man wear a sweater you know Put some sleeves on, ain't nothing, ain't no shame in it. Protect yourself. I just don't, I just don't. But uh, when I go to grab that ball of Hollister and I want nothing in my way, I want nothing hindering it. I want to grab a hold of that son of a bitch and carry it farther than anyone else. But what do you what do you guys think? What do you think that stone weighs? It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty big one. My you know my my deadlift ain't much. My overhead press is decent, uh, but my stone carrying it's just gonna get better and better. I'll do it till I can't, you know. So when it comes time for stone carrying events, I want to do well at it. I want to do well at all of it. I love this sport. And when it comes time where I can't do the sport, it's going to be stones. We're fortunate enough to be this strong. 
have this ability to do these sorts of things, you know. And if you're watching the channel and you don't do it, that's fine too. Welcome. But you should go lift stones. It's good for you. Any other. It, being out here is just good for you. You know, even if you don't lift, support the lifters in your community. Unless they're assholes. And don't. You know, it's funny. Uh, every, every time I go to the gym, every time, and I'm sure this is the plight of every gym goer, but uh, never fails. Someone doesn't rack their weights. Not to not to put a stereotype on anybody, but it's usually the uh, younger gym goers. Not always, but al almost always. You young dudes, rack your weights, man. It's such a dick move. It's like whether it's you or the gym owner or me, someone's someone's re racking your weights for you. You know, it's like they say: if you can pull it off, you can put it back on, man. If I can pull these out. And re rack them, you can put a couple plates back. Little PSA for, little PSA from unknown. I'm talking about, talk about myself in the third person. Fucking shoot me. I'm gonna do some rows. Y'all hear the roosters? I sure like those. That's a good back builder there. Whew. Part of me wants to pick this up, but another part of me says you can't fucking pick that up, dude. <laughs> Boy, that's heavy. It's good for Rose, though.
<clears throat> Found this old newspaper inside that brick. I mean, it's not a whole newspaper, obviously. Oh, it's a book. It was no secret that she had been first choice of most of the boys. Ooh. They had quartered her with dates, dinners, walks, dances, shows. They made her pitch fired and fallen back. Whatever the hell that means. She wasn't snooty, nor was there anything particularly unusual about her attitude. There was a lot of girls like Cora. Y'all know what book that is? Comment down below if you, if you know what that book is. biggest problem on some of these carries and pickups is my clean it's the same thing that screwed me in uh, my axle clean press if I could manage a proper clean some of you watched the video yesterday of uh, there's an old video of me trying to press a stone and then it cuts into a, I finally press a stone yesterday which I was pumped for obviously uh, but I managed to, the first video you can see me wrestling with it, uh, mainly through ignorance, you know, and, and lack of strength. But uh, in the new video, I looked at it and I knew it was coming up to my chest. And that eliminated so much struggle, so much strength. So that's one thing I'll be working on, especially with these stones. I weighed this one, it weighs two, I forget, man. Honestly, I forget. It's two something. Uh, used to be a piece of an uh, old bank foundation. Yeah, so, Lord knows what it's made of. Well, Lord in a, in a masonry somewhere. Probably some of you have no idea what it's made of. Could be marble. I bet it's not though. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's heavy. But I think right now I might attempt a uh, couple of big rows and see where I'm at. <laughs> kind of like uh, Jeff Wark, Crawford, uh, Stone Circle, Cody at Stone Circle. Them guys were talking about one motion lifts. God, it's such a it's such an amazing strength builder. Uh, you get to the point where you're one motion and things. You you know you've got some real strength. Uh, when you lap something, there's a break in between, you know, you're still, you're still using strength, but nothing like that lower back feel and that trap feel when you're picking something up and one motion in it, it's out of this world. It's, a, it's like uncertainty and power and euphoria. <laughs> uh, you, you lifters know what I'm talking about. Like that. Ha 
<laughs> oh shit. Well that's another another PR ladies and gentlemen. Didn't even mean to do that. I keep stepping in dog shit. And I can't find it. There's, there's no dogs around here. <laughs> Fuck yeah! A little more context for that last stone. I had actually tried for several months last year to lift, uh, to shoulder that stone. At first, I was just trying to lift it up to my chest. I worked with it for about eight tries on it over a few month period. Just never could shoulder it. And then I did a bunch of carries with it. Didn't even try to shoulder it. I worked with it for a few months. And then yes, or that that clip there, I was able to shoulder it. So that was a that was a big deal for me. All right, just a little more context. <laughs> 